It's hard to believe, but this will be the third year of COVID. So by now you're familiar with the immediate symptoms, a sore throat or a loss of smell or taste. But scientists are still trying to learn more about long COVID. That's when symptoms outlast the infection. This tweet has tens of thousands of likes and retweets claiming, quote, up to 30% of people who get COVID suffer from long COVID. Let's verify, is that statistic accurate? Our sources are Brian Lau, a professor of epidemiology at Johns Hopkins University, and Dr. Greg Vanishkashorn, a long COVID expert at the Mayo Clinic. First, the author of the tweet sourced that 30% stat to this peer-reviewed February 2021 study, published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. The study included 234 people with COVID and found that 30% had persistent symptoms six months later. And while the sample size is small, our experts said the study is reputable. Dr. Lau said overall 30% is a good estimate, and Dr. Vanishka Shorn said about 33%. However, remember that that paper was published back in February, and the actual research was conducted between August and November of 2020, so over a year ago. Since then, more studies have come out. A Mayo Clinic spokesperson sent us two and called the findings, quote, more ominous. This November 2021 study of 200 people hospitalized for COVID-19 found that about 40% still reported at least one symptom a year later. And this October 2021 analysis of 57 international studies found that 54% of patients still reported at least one symptom after six or more months. So researchers continue to learn more about long COVID, which makes it hard to give an exact estimate. But our experts say yes, at least 30% of COVID patients may suffer from long COVID. Now, what's interesting is the long COVID symptoms range. Those symptoms could be anywhere from a loss of senses up to symptoms that cause incidences of pain. And like most things in the pandemic, we will continue to learn more as more studies roll out. With Verify, I'm Matt Gregory.